Hi everybody, this is Bill Black at Spirit River. I want to give you a quick little scenario on a lot of our different flashes that Spirit River produces and sells. Um, flashes are becoming more and more important uh, with the modern synthetics in today's world and in today's patterns. There's a lot of different uses for them and I'll show you a lot about that. Right now this is our Crystal Splash, probably one of the most popular. Um, this is used in a ton of different patterns. It's used as bodies, it's used as uh, wing cases. Um, it's also used for a lot of different types of wings. So look for Crystal Splash wherever you're at. You get With our particular product you get a lot more of the product in the package as opposed to the competition. Um, and I think you'd be very happy using ours versus theirs. That's the uh, Crystal Splash. Here is the Mirror Flash. This is basically a pearl material that's been dyed over pearl. So that's why we call it mirror. It's, it's, I use this probably more than any almost any other flash in all of my different patterns. There's also glow in the dark. This stuff's cool because you can use it for laying back for wings. You can also use it around the shank of the hook as a body or as a rib, which is nice. This is called Glisten Gloss. This is a reinforced fiber, as is the uh, Mylar Spectra uh, Spectra Splash, which is right here. Um, these are reinforced, so they're a little bit stronger. And also what you get with these is you get a little bit of crinky, crinkiness to them. As you can see in this, it adds kind of a scaly look, so that's really nice when you're using it on minnows and such. Uh, we have the normal metallic mylar motion. Metallic mylar motion is <clears throat> very similar to flash boo that you're going to see all over the country. Uh, basically the same thing. We have just a little different name on it. Again, it's used to be trailed back as wings. It's used as body. It's used as ribs. Um, here is the holographic material that we sell a ton of. And I again use a lot of this, particularly in silver and gold. It's very flashy. You only want a little bit on there comes in two different diameters, uh, 1 64th and 1 32nd. Um, 1 64th is the fine, which I use more of than the, than the slightly heavier material. <clears throat> and then we have DNA. Um, there's a number of different types of DNA. We import this from offshore. And this is kind of a blend of flash as well as other synthetic fibers. Um, makes beautiful, beautiful um, saltwater patterns and minnow patterns. One of the tricks that I do when I'm using these all of these long flashes, I call them, is I'll cut a V-notch in the top of the bag and then I stick my set scissors up into the bag and I pull some of the material out. That way the rest of the material stays in good condition in the bag. It's clean uh, and ready to use. And then I can just sort out a little bit of this and use it as I need it. And a lot of times what I do with this is I'll cut a chunk of it and I only cut about half of what I think I need because I center tie it and I tie it right there and then I fold it back over on itself so that I get a whole great big wing out of it and because it's center tied it will never ever pull out so that's kind of a durability issue on a lot of patterns that I like as an example this is a, a headlight caddis this shows um, some flash material uh, being used just like a mylar this is a uh, shrimp fly Michael Tucker made for us. Uh, this has got a mylar body and it's got a UV overcoat to it. Turns out absolutely gorgeous. It's got a little bit of flash that sticks out here uh, basically as antenna. You can see what a gorgeous fly this turns out. It's easy to do. I think he puts flash underneath uh, clear tubing. This is a rubber leg stimulator. Um, this is a couple, I'm going to show you a couple examples here of uh, underwings. Uh, John Matthews tied this particular pattern. He is a stickler for putting a little bit of crystal splash uh, underneath his deer or elk wings on his stimulators, on his caddis, on that sort of thing. And you can see it, it really makes the fly pop. Just gives it a wee bit of sparkle like a true insect wing. Here's another John Matthews pattern. Again, he uses uh, the foam and he uses it under the wing, under the foam wing. Really gives a nice silhouette, adds a little bit of sparkle, uh, much like the translucency of a real wing. Here's a big saltwater pattern a friend of mine tied. Uh, 
Um, and as you can see, here's a lot of different uh, mylars that come off and they're used as a tail. Makes a great saltwater pattern. Uh, this stuff really moves and wiggles in the water. Adds a lot of flash. It's very lifelike. Here's a fine example of a uh, light bright minnow. And as you can see, uh, there's uh, different light brights that are streaming back as well as some of the different uh, long flashes like I just showed you. Again, that's a beautiful minnow. You can hold the material back and you can take a magic marker and you can dap each side of it to get your par marks, which is makes it look even more realistic. Everybody's heard of the Clouser minnow. This is a great example of a UV2 Clouser minnow. We've used the UV2 bucktail to stick out here. In addition to it though, it's also got the uh, crystal splash which lays between the two different types of UV2 bucktail. Uh, makes a very very effective pattern along with our dazzle eyes. No good steelhead fly in this uh, Pacific Northwest or around the country would be tied without a little bit of long flash in it. This has got a little bit of crystal splash as well as mylar motion. Um, uh, you can see how well it looks and you get just a little bit of subtle flash to it, not a whole lot. Uh, sometimes you can overdo your flies um, and I recommend that you don't. Um, but you should add a little bit of flash to a lot of the patterns you do. So next time you're at a dealer's looking for flash, be sure you go to Spirit Rivers Products. We carry a full range of all different types of long flashes. I think you're going to find these very useful in the patterns that you tie. Thanks.